So Personas just released an upgrade, major upgrade to its Studio One digital audio workstation. So now we're dealing with Studio One 5 and they have a lot of cool features and I'm gonna do a deep dive. I'm not ready to release anything just yet, but I am gonna do a deep dive and I may, you know, release some videos as well. But something else they updated was the Studio One remote app. I think this is an underrated app or an underrated product. I use it all the time. It has been updated. And I just wanna walk you guys through exactly what this app can do. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are. I, um, I fired up Studio One Remote. As you can see, I also have Studio One 5 Artists on as well. As soon as I fired up Studio One Remote, it recognized my Studio One on my desktop or my laptop. This works via Wi-Fi, so both devices has to be on a Wi-Fi network, the same Wi-Fi network. I have a MacBook Pro, and I'm also using my trusty iPad Pro. All right, so before I even get into anything, if you go, if you touch the question mark, I guess that's the help icon, it'll pretty much walk you through exactly how this thing is supposed to work. You know, you could just slide left and right and it tells you everything. It's pretty straightforward. This is a pretty comprehensive app. So, you know, if you need something to control your uh, desktop application this is probably the way you want to go okay so it also has a demo i haven't figured out how that works and where the sound comes out of but i'll figure that out but i'm not really interested in the demo um i'm so basically from this point once the studio one remote app recognizes the desktop or the laptop application then all you have to do is select it and there you have it. Now, if you see when I select channels on the app, it also corresponds to the channels that are being selected on the application. That's pretty cool. I can also increase or decrease the volume. If you wanna go back to Unity, just double tap. It's that simple. Um, if I play, there you go. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And I just got a text message, so pretty sorry about that. <laughs> uh, okay, but now you can go into the actual application, you know, the app, and you can go into inserts. Well, here are some things you can do on here. You have faders, which is all your channels, your mixer, basically. You have your inserts. If you have anything loaded on, you know, plugins or anything like that, you can add inserts or you can control your inserts too. So as you can see here, I have the Pro EQ on one of my tracks. If I tap that, here's my EQ. This is the actual plugin from the actual desktop application so as you can see I have a lot of electronics going off here so I'm really sorry so as you can see it pulls up the 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 regular GUI sort of interface on the um, the, the desktop version but you get a scaled down version within the app um, and as you can see as I move things here on the app it also moves everything on the actual desktop this is pretty cool you can also add plugins as well. Let's say if I wanted to add a limiter. Well, I'm sorry, a level meter. I could do that. If you wanted to delete it, I think you just hold it and then you can remove it. So you're basically just holding the insert to remove it. Let's add another one. I actually wanted to add a limiter. Um, there we go. So the limiter is here now. Now, if you wanted to get back to where you were, you just hit this button down here. It looks like faders. You can just hit that. So remember, I was in inserts. So you can also do sends, you have your cue mixes, you can go to your channels, your inputs, your outputs. This thing really rocks out. So if you wanted to go back to, you know, just your regular faders and things of that nature, you can just go back to channel, then you're back here. Now here's something else that's kind of cool too. If you go into 
icon next to the fader, in between the fader and the home icon. This takes you to a totally different page. Now you get a little deeper. You can do a deep dive and sort of work things out exactly the way you want to. So right now I'm in my transport mode. Now you can either, you know, swipe left and right to go to any other sort of setting, or you can just select it right from here, view, console, events, edit, automation, audio, instrument track. You get the point. The other cool thing about this is now remember with the new Studio One 5, Personas added this show sort of function. So if you're doing a live show or something like that, now you have the ability to set up your show within Studio One and, and just sort of rock and roll that way. It's not, I mean, think about it. That's pretty cool, right? So imagine if you had this, you're, you know, you're at a, you're at an arena or some sort of a stage, you're doing a show and you're back at the house, you're controlling everything, you know, everything is set up in terms of the show. Now you can go to your show page. You can walk around the stage, walk around the arena, walk around the club, get all the sounds right. Get just, I mean, look at it. This is ridiculous. I mean, I am really loving how this whole situation is set up. Music creation. Again, I'm just going in and out, just trying to find out exactly how things work. You have macros. So I'm in my transport. If I wanted to edit, I can just hit edit. And now I have the ability to either change the color, remove the button. I can go in and sort of select exactly what I want this button to do. So, you know, if I wanted to, if I wanted this button to be an auto punch in, I can do that, a click, I can do that, a forward, I can do that. And you can change, and if you go to any of the different sections, you can also change the complete color of this whole section. So if I wanted to make this, uh, let's say if I wanted to make this red, I could do that. Um, you can go into here and change how the transport um, reads out. You want time, you want beats, you want measures, whatever. You can start and end right here. And here's another button right here. You can go all the way, you can stop, you can hit record in here. You can go in here and control your tempo. So you can replace, you can take out layers, you can add layers, you can quantize. I mean, this thing is completely, this is full feature. Okay, and there you have it, the Studio One Remote app. This is, again, it was an update because Personas came out with Studio One 5. If you're a Personas Studio One user, and remember the Studio One 5 update, uh, upgrade is pretty good, so you may wanna check that out. But if you get a chance, you know, log in, you know, go to the App Store or, you know, the Android Store, wherever you go, um, and, and download this as an app on your tablet, give it a try, and up you probably will like this. This will probably be something in your arsenal in terms of controlling the environment you record in in your Persona Studio One 5 digital audio workstation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and until next time, peace.